In case you haven't heard, Elon Musk says remote work is no longer acceptable, but that's not the interesting part. Yesterday, I speculated that this doesn't make any sense because Tesla workers have worked remotely for over two years, and Tesla is doing better than ever. So why would Elon Musk force an unpopular policy that he knows would make people want to resign? In yesterday's video, I said I suspected, but could not prove, that he was doing this to force a mass layoff without actually firing anybody. Turns out, the labor lawyer was right. Today, Mr. Musk announced that he needs to cut 10% of Tesla's workforce. That number is super important because federal law requires that if Tesla lays off this many people, they have to follow certain requirements. Those requirements take time and they cost money. Also, Tesla would have to pay unemployment for all those people, maybe even severance packages. Oh, and all the expenses from Cobra coverage. We can talk about that later. Anyway, Elon Musk is a super smart dude, and he says he has a very bad feeling about where the economy is headed. So I suspect and now I think I can prove that the reason he's saying that remote work is over at Tesla is because he wants people to resign. Because if everyone just resigns, he doesn't have to lay them off. And if he doesn't have to lay them off, he doesn't have to comply with the Warren Act, he doesn't have to pay unemployment, and if they get a job elsewhere, he doesn't have to pay Cobra Care. I think the lesson here is when you see someone as smart as Elon Musk doing something that looks irrational, there's probably a reason. And there's another really important reminder. No matter how well your employer is doing or how hard you work, Work. You cannot expect loyalty from your job. The minute a company senses some trouble in the economy, you're out of there.